This is Yonex's new 2024 Pro Tournament bag. I recently shot a what's in my bag video for you guys that you can check out right here since Yonex just sent me this bag. But as I was swapping out my old 2023 bag to this new one, I noticed some differences, so I thought I'd do a comparison video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Howard, I'm an Olympic badminton player, and today we'll be taking a close-up look at Yonex's new 2024 bag and comparing it with last year's bag. The first new feature I noticed that is a huge game changer for me is the handle here on the side of the bag. If you're like me and you carry on your badminton bag onto flights, then having this handle is extremely helpful and convenient, especially if you're trying to grab it out of overhead bins or if you're setting it down vertically and you wanna be able to have a handle to hold it by. Previously, these handles were only on the Japanese manufactured Yonex bags for some reason, and so not all of them had it. If you see here on my 2023 version bag, it didn't have this handle at all, so it made it difficult to hold it when it was in a vertical position. The next main difference that you will notice right away is that there's no longer the separate shoe compartment that was in the 2023 bag. This honestly is not a huge deal breaker for me since I usually put my shoes in a separate shoe bag anyways and then just place it in the largest compartment, but it is worth mentioning especially if you use this separate shoe compartment for other mid-sized items. You still have your three main compartments. You have your widest one in the back here that has the most space. I use this area for shoes, clothes, and other large items. Then you have your more narrow compartment, which I believe is intended for rackets. And then on the front is the most narrow compartment that I would say is best used for smaller items or accessories. Yonex did extend the zipper placement on this front compartment so that it has almost a full zip from end to end of the bag versus the previous version where the zipper was just cut off at about halfway in the middle of the bag. Now, to make up for the missing shoe compartment, Yonex did add a few new compartments. There's this new small zip-up pocket on the same side of the largest compartment that's lined with a black soft material. It's the only compartment with this soft black lining which makes it perfect for phone, keys, or other valuables. It also added a few mesh storage pockets inside the bag. There is a single mesh compartment where you can easily put some grips, grip powder, or other racket accessories. And then in the front compartment, there is another set of two mesh compartments that is aligned on the opposite side of the bag compared to the single mesh compartment that we just saw. These two mesh compartments are great for other loose items like your wallet, tape, or any other small items that you usually just throw in your bag. On the 2023 rectangular bag, there were no mesh compartments at all so you basically only had the option to throw everything into the front compartment, which was pretty large, so things would often slide around. I like to have things organized, so usually the more pockets and more compartments, the better and more convenient. There's a few things that I would have liked to see in this bag and I hope to see in future bags. Because they've added this handle for vertical placement, it would be nice to have the rubber stoppers in the opposite end of the bag where the bag would be sitting on the ground. Yonex actually already has this in many of their bags and in their Japanese version bags, but I would love to see it across all versions. It's a nice feature that keeps that fabric from that bottom area getting dirty, but also a good protective measure in case that bottom side is where the frame of your rackets sit. I also would love to see the center divider in the large compartment. Again, this is not a new feature as I already have it in some of my older version bags, but usually there's this soft divider that you can attach and detach by Velcro, and it makes it very easy to separate the large compartment so that you can easily organize shoes on one side and clothes on the other. Lastly, I think I would prefer the mesh pockets to have zippers. They're extremely handy to have, but they're not enclosed. So if you're holding the bag vertically by the handle, then there's a potential chance that things will slip out into the larger compartment itself. As far as size or dimensions, nothing's changed. They are exactly the same size measuring 75 centimeters long, 20 centimeters wide, and 33 centimeters high. I feel like this is the perfect size because it's not too big where you can still fit it inside of a hard case check-in luggage if you need to, but still has plenty of space to fit all of your equipment and more. As you can see here in my racket compartment, I can fit six rackets comfortably with two tubes of birds. I can probably even put eight in here if I really wanted to. And then I still have the entire larger compartment for shoes, clothes, and other large items. 
This 2024 version comes in five new colorways. We have the blue with black and white logo, an all black with silver logo, a red with black and blue and silver accents, a black with silver and blue accents, which is actually meant to be paired with the new third generation Astrox 88s, and a purplish with light blue, pink accents, and a white logo. And it looks like there's even a bonus limited edition navy, white, and red colorway that appears to have some leather on it and some more premium materials. Currently, this pro tournament bag is about 100 US dollars, which is slightly cheaper than the six pack or nine pack pro racket bags. I've been using the rectangular pro racket bag for a couple years now, and it's currently my favorite form factor bag. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys if you're interested in this new bag. Let me know in the comments below if you're upgrading this year and if you like the changes that they've made to this version. That's all that I have for you guys today and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.